Buy my shirt. Buy my shirt. Buy my, Buy my hat. Buy it all. Wow, this is the start. Hey everybody, what's up? If you're new to my channel, my name is Chris Clemens, or if you're one of my Clementines, welcome back to the dysfunction that is my channel. Boogie, are you in Delaware? So I'm back in Delaware for Christmas and New Year's and figured I loved my Thanksgiving vlog so much, so did y'all. Let's keep it going. As you guys saw, I arrived home, not last night, but the night before. Yesterday I didn't vlog because walking corpse. But today I'm trying to reverse some of that corpse, you know, you know? Yeah, okay. And that explains why I have these eye masks on because um, I'm trying not to look like a Tim Burton wet dream, you know? So exciting having Boogie in town. She is like having the best time ever. My entire family is obsessed with her. And it's just gonna be a fucking fun, merry time. So yeah, let's hang out in Delaware, celebrate the holidays. So come along. So I am in the car. Oh, wow, you guys have seen so much of me in the car lately. It has gotta be just as exhausting as being in the car constantly. But because I got home on like the 21st or the 22nd, I really have like no time to Christmas shop, which has made this stressful, but I kind of live for this like, how can I get the best gift in the shortest amount of time? It gives me like very much college all over again, but like in a fun way. So I bought my little brother a wine fridge from Best Buy because he's really into wine. And so I've got to pick up a few other gifts for him. And then I got my older brother some whiskey glasses at Williams Sonoma yesterday. Oh my God. I I got him the ones that were my favorites video. I think he'll really like them, and if not, <laughs> and then I got him a Sonos soundbar also at Best Buy. So I'm just going to pick those up curbside. No Miss Omarion for me. And then I'm probably just gonna bop around and try and find some other gifts. I found something for my mom yesterday that she thinks I bought for myself, but it was like fully for her. Delaware in the winter is definitely a lot more sad looking than it is in the fall. Uh, for obvious reasons. But oh my God, it just feels so good to be back. Okay, so a lot has happened. I didn't vlog any of it because one, sweating. Two, so many people. Three, sweating. I went to Best Buy and got the wine fridge and the Sono sound bar. I went to Target to get stockings and gift cards. I went to Michael's to get gift wrap. I went to Petco to get Booger a bed and a food bowl. I swear to you, I will be better at vlogging. People just walking by really close. But today is just not that day, you know? She's not that girl. I had two slices of bread with butter before I left and I am so like shaky hungry. So yeah. Okay, oh my God, it's two o'clock. I need to get the fuck home. So I'm obviously home now and I realized that I didn't bring any of the dog outfits for Christmas that I bought her, which I know how awful that sentence was. While I was at PetSmart getting her a bed and a new food bowl, I found this one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's a little pocket for treats, or what is that? Okay, it's just decor. Oh my god, Bogart, I'm gonna lose my mind. You are adorable. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now we are bacon with mama. Look at these Rolos. Oh please, that's hardly worthy of note. She's got her famous bunt cake in the oven. Oh well, my, it's cold. oh I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't have that be a failure. It's like always a tradition for Christmas morning to have my mom's bunt cake. This year, we're gonna try and make it gluten free. <laughs> I really might just take the L and eat the gluten full one. I just uploaded the unhinged holiday special and now I have to wrap presents. I mean, I just really have to wrap one because it's my little brother's and he lives here and uh, it's half the size of the Christmas tree. Yeah. You can take me now, God. Oh, fuck a cow. Oh my god! Oh. oh, fuck. Okay, mom, with the middle kid. Yes, work. <laughs> Get shocked with middle kid. <laughs> I was just telling my mom how I feel like so annoyed because it is so hard for me to fucking wake up in the morning. Waking up in the morning. Think about 
about so many things. Today is Christmas Eve, and we are just gonna bake some cookies, do some last minute Christmas shopping, and then we're heading to my brother's fiance's aunt's house for a, a Christmas, yeah, I don't know. But right now I'm gonna go bake some cookies with mom. Mom, say hello. Hello. <laughs> Please note the irony in my fitness t-shirt while I'm <laughs> manipulating 70 trillion calories of naughty food. See, this one... <laughs> I literally just gasped. Wow. Just, you know, I went through the kitchen monkeying around. They had a pantry I would always hide in. And I'm actually using doing the recipe as written. I don't want to shock anyone. You would make these, the spritz with, um, oh, I said you could do it. Here, I'll read Did I do it? Give it to you. Finish results. It's not the best. I mean, these are kind of fatties. We're all That's some that. fatties. It's okay. Oh, it's my Bessie and a Tessie. In just the most Chris Clemens fashion, um, we're at the mall on New Year's Eve. Christmas Eve. Christmas. It doesn't fucking matter. We're here when we shouldn't be. I really thought the mall would have been <laughs> it's so fucking packed. Okay, so <sighs> me out. No, yeah. Same, I was just taking one final deep breath. We just got home from a little family gathering. And now we're gonna do some baking cause we made a bunch of non-gluten-free stuff. So tonight we're gonna try and make some gluten-free stuff. We're gonna drink a little, we're gonna watch a Christmas movie. It's just gonna be really cute. I officially finished wrapping all of my presents. This is what they all look like. I found some tree clippings from the backyard <laughs> and uh, just tried to make it. You know, look like something. But now we're making gluten-free and like semi almost vegan pound cake. Shout out Miss Miyoko. And I bought this tin today so we can have like little mini ones. <laughs> Here, David, put this in recycling. Okay. So fill it like halfway, three quarters. Uh, three quarters. Alrighty, we have almond on this side and lemon on this side, and it's time for them to go in. Oh my god, the pound cakes are out and they look fucking beautiful. Oh my god, mom, I think we killed this. Merry yeah. Christmas! Yeah. Is that my present? No! <sighs> Whatever. Oh my gosh, these turned out fucking perfect. Oh my god. There's a light! Girl, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! It's our first Christmas together. Are you helping me fill the stocking for my person? So this is the stocking I made for my little brother because that's who I had again this year. I found this while I was looking for the unhinged specials alcohol. Yeah, it did drive all the way across the country with me. It's time to wake up my little brother. It's Christmas, bitch. Ho, 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 it's Christmas time. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay, I'll be up in a second. Merry Christmas. I hear you. I'll be up in a minute. <laughs> Booker, get up. Get up. No, get down, Booker. Good girl, go look his Booker, face. Get down. Go look his face. Booker, get down. I hear he has a treat in his bed. Booker, get down. Even though this is exactly what it looked like last night, Santa came. Oh my god. <laughs> Booker, your first present. Yeah. Huh? So my mom has been preparing a lot of the food. We've got some Brussels sprouts. We have some cauliflower. I just smashed all of these boiled potatoes for smashed potatoes. Give a little Miss Booger. Do you have a little Miss Booger? Now I'm gonna salt and pepper them and probably roll up another miracle. <laughs> town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Wrong song, but it's the thought that counts. I don't love this one anyway. <laughs> My mom and little brother just took a shot of fireball. Please come pick me up, somebody. And I won. <laughs> she took the shot <laughs> fastest. So what do you have to say about mom beating you in a shot? I've tried like two seconds last. <laughs> what? Dave's clearly had four fireball. <laughs> So one thing I love about the holidays is like on Thanksgiving, we give the dogs turkey. So on Christmas, my mom made a prime rib. Is that what it is? A prime roast? I don't know, I really don't eat that much meat anymore. But of course I thought I wanted to give Booger some. So we chopped up some of this. I am like so adamant about not giving her table scraps, human food, anything. So this feels just so extra special. Boogie, you want some, you want some Christmas prime roast? There you go. 
Merry Christmas, Booker! Look at her tail! Merry Christmas, Booker! Oh, Merry Christmas, Boogie! Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy it? You love it! You love it! Oh my god, her little tail wagging in her fucking onesie! I'm gonna die! Today's the day after Christmas, and we are going to see my Nana. Nana! <laughs> Yeah, give it to her. Yeah, give it to her. Okay. Oh, look at you. You owned it, Shin. Well, women still wear hats. Oh, my God. Look at her. Nana. Look at that. Nana. Oh, my God. It's snowing. It's snowing. Look at this. Less than a week here. I have had all the weather I could get. Los Angeles could never. My mom and I are running errands and oh my god the snow is like picking up so much more and it's like sticking to shit. Wow, the bar for serotonin is just so low at this point. Book, is it snowing? Book, it's your first snow! Hey Booker, it's your first snow, come on! Do you have any idea what this is? It's snow! Booker, have you seen snow before? Yeah. This is snow. Wow, I look like someone who lives in their mom's basement and hacks computers. Wow. But since forever, my mom and I have wanted to like make our own tomato sauce. Y'all know how I get with tomato sauce. Are you in the background just literally slurping? <laughs> not mom, not mom. So when I was coming home, I was like, okay, this is something we are gonna do. I'm gonna be here for a longer time than normal. So today we went out and grocery shopped. This is my mom's first attempt at it, and it is- Well, I mean, is... I've cooked before. No, but- No, don't show me eating. <laughs> <laughs> you can show me eating, baby. As she like, postures up and talks, she's like, don't film me, don't make me sing. Anyways, this is the first try. We learned a lot, realizing things. All right, here's the before. Not proud. Did you see? Not done, even after. Mm -hmm. This is the after. I just looked at the footage and my teeth have like inches yes. in between them. Uh -huh. That's where all that tartar was. Yeah, no, I, yep, got it, thank you. So I just got home from the dentist and I am in the worst fucking mood. If you're not into a rant, maybe skip ahead in the video, but I'm ready to pop the fuck off. So I obviously work for myself, which means I had to find my own insurance provider at the age of 26 when I left my mom's insurance. Why did I learn calculus in school and not how to fucking pick insurance or even what insurance fucking is? Okay, anyway, so I've had insurance on my own since my 26th birthday. I've never been to the dentist since having insurance. Because I'm home for an extended period of time at the dentist, I've only ever gone to in my entire life. I decided let me book an appointment. I fill out all my insurance stuff I fill out all of this blah blah motherfucking blah. I get to the dentist check in and they call my insurance and apparently The dental place that I go to is out of network. So it, they can't cover it. What is the point of insurance if you can't go anywhere to receive health care. I understand out of network, but why is that automatically, burp, you're on your own. <gasps> so I ask how much the basic cleaning would be and they tell me 192 and I'm like, okay, this literally is not ideal, but I'd rather just, you know, get it done, not have this ruin my day, etc. The hygienist calls me back and I'm talking about how I haven't been to the dentist in three years and like, oh my God, who the fuck is calling me? Hey, can you give me a call back in like 10 minutes? Perfect, thank you so much. You got it. Bye. Bye. Anyway, so the fucking hygienist brings me back and I'm telling her how much plaque and tartar and all that fucking shit is on my teeth. And so she's like, okay, let's do x-rays and then maybe we'll get something. And I was like, does that cost extra? Because listen, bitch, I'm, I'm only trying to pay the 192. But I make it clear that I'm there for a basic cleaning and I am paying out of fucking pocket. I finish up my little checkup and my teeth I mean, are fucking gorgeous. I go to pay and they say, okay, it's 452. <laughs> I think you pronounced 192 incorrectly. They tell me that the x-rays, I, I mean, 
Oh my fucking God, the x-rays were like fucking $300. I'm ready to lose my mind. Then the little worker bitch who came out of a room had the audacity to go, well, you shouldn't have asked for x-rays. Shouldn't have asked for x-rays? I didn't! I thought that was part of the basic cleaning! <sighs> like, it's all just so annoying to me, but the thing that pisses me off the absolute most is just the principle of it. How were we supposed to know what insurance to pick for our life? How were we supposed to know what is involved in a fucking normal basic dental cleaning and then I think well Chris you have a good job you're college educated you're this that the motherfucking other thing how do people not with those benefits even remotely begin to do this oh my god I'm about to seriously have a heart attack which I really can't do because I'm pretty sure that'll probably be out of fucking network too but what the fuck is wrong with this I mean what the fuck is wrong with this country bitch everything <laughs> Wow, I know that that was probably manic to watch. It was manic to experience, but oh, I feel so much better. And I am going to show you my teeth again so I can write this fucking bill off. Yee! This used to be all covered in plaque. Okay, yeah, I'm now realizing that it's just a weirdly up-close shot of my teeth. So I'm going to go and smoke a joint and try and forget that this ever happened. <laughs> well, looky here. It is the last day of 2021. It's December 31st and a New Year's Eve tradition that I always have is me and my three best friends from high school. We have spent probably eight of the last 10 New Year's together. It's like real cute or whatever. But Becky and Taylor got married finally and now we're in their brand new house. Let's clean it up first. I'm not showing it, bitch. I'm just like, okay, I should probably like check in with my video camera. Anyways, after many, many tests, we are finally here. And it's so fucking exciting. This year, it's just so special. We're together again. We're in their house, their literal home, love. I've really not done a whole lot over the last few days, uh, hence the lack of footage. Did do something really exciting today that I'll maybe tell you guys about one day, but... Oh my God, the craziest thing I've ever done, period. Truly an insane way to end 2021, but I'm excited to just have some fun, live, laugh, and what was that? <laughs> Love. I figured out this like insane spicy mango margarita and it is rocking my world. Happy, happy new year. Oh, Taylor. <laughs> I'm sorry, the zoom in was too much, I'm sorry. Five minutes of crafts are fucking coming. Oh my god, I'm like literally shook by this DIY-ness the house. Oh my god, Taylor, what? Okay, Miss Becky with the big bottle. Miss Big Bottle. Look at this hot little couple. 2021's premier sluts. I, hello, am crazy. <laughs> Okay, Taylor, this was your first one. That salami bottle turned into a beautiful work of art. Oh my God, a New Year's together. Cheers. I love you guys. Cheers. I hope you bitches know that we have to turn off the music every time I film. So just remember that. Hi everyone, my name is Chris and I'm auditioning for the role. Let's, That's us. Let's get goofy. Happy New Year! Why are we that one? <laughs> Holy shit! They're pouring out! They're pouring straight liquor! Uh, Andy Cohen! Yeah. You can get it! He did, it was a lovely Christmas friend. Yeah. So we're together two and a half years. And do you love him? I don't love him, no. I don't. Oh, I just uh, screamed across the balcony at the other townhomes, and apparently they are not barbs, okay? I don't know what drama I caused, but I screamed, hey, are you guys barbs? And they were like, are any of us named Barbara? And I go, barbs, do you guys, barbs? And they were like, no, we, no one named Barbara here. And I go, no, 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 Nicki Minaj fan. They go, Nicki what the fan? And I go, I'm going to go inside. Thank you so much. So now we're here. It is January. Ugh, it's only January 3rd. I thought it was like January 5th. Look at this. It's snowing. Book, it's snowing. But it's just a Monday morning and something that I maybe have talked about, but I don't remember. It's this thing called Popover. I have met like two other people who know 
what this fucking is. And also, you guys wanted some mommy content. So oh, oh, good. Wait, that okay. sounded weird. We have to <laughs> so you guys wanted some mom content, so... Let's make popover. It's not a great mom hygiene day. I need No, to I mean, I don't think it's a great day for... It looks like I have a receding hairline that's going to, like, 1992. Looks like I'm an Elvis impersonator. <laughs> but this is something that usually requires flour, egg, butter, sugar, and milk. I am making this all vegan and gluten-free except for the eggs. I found this flour replacement at a store called Wegmans, which is literally the best store ever. Oh my god, the popover just came out, and it looks... Fucking stunning. Hey, <laughs> oops, it's weird seeing you here. So I never filmed an outro for this. I thought I was gonna film more. I don't know why I thought that, cause didn't film anything else. Back in Los Angeles, Miss Booger is right there. I did not vlog the road trip on the way back. Mostly because I could barely, I, we can't, I'm officially done driving. Like I said it last year, I am saying it officially this time. I'm never doing that drive again. Although every time I fucking say that, I end up doing it the next year. Bye.